The number one fear organizations have today is employees. The fear that some employees will get caught up in a PR nightmare that will cost them millions, millions. But employees are not the problem. See, the problem is that organizations fail to build their foundation on the one key ingredient employees need and are seeking. The key missing ingredient was respect. Whether addressing generals or executives, soldiers or students, they serve audiences that deserve to witness only the very best. A boundless fountain of energy, a heart of molten gold, and a break dancer who will lift you up. Please help me welcome into your loving arms, Mike Domish. All righty, here we roll. Turn that music up, turn that music up. No hands up, hands down. We want to have a little fun tonight. If you've heard of workplace culture, say I've heard of it. That's right, and nobody relates to it. 100% true. Can you imagine if I walked up to you and said, my job is so amazing, they actually treat me with respect. Isn't that incredible? You don't be like, where did you work before this job? Raise your hand, give me examples of things people can do that annoy you that either can be working right next to you. Yes. Oh, just existing in your space. That's called an unhealthy relationship, yes. When we directly address our culture and the foundation of respect in an organization, we change everything built on that foundation. When people go, what's the big deal? This is where you've been operating for 200 years or 300 years at the cost of people being harmed. Right now, more than ever, organizations are afraid. They're afraid. They're seeing stuff in the news that make them go, what if I have at one time, or this is out of control. I don't know what my employees are doing or what somebody in my organization might have already have done. I'm afraid. And here's the thing. The question we have to be asking is, how are we gonna transform our culture so that we're not living in fear? We have not been taught how to build a culture of respect. We've been taught that respect is the epitome, which is a low standard. But if we don't have those conversations in our workplace, the people who are being harmed are near that direction, think we don't care. The fact is, we have what it takes to create this culture. All we have to do is flip the model. We have to prioritize respect so that it is the foundation for everything our organization does. Here's the deal, when you create a culture of respect, you create a safe space where people can thrive and be themselves, where when things happen that are uncomfortable or are concerning, we now have a system of how we step in in that moment. And suddenly we have a safe place where we can trust in each other. We can look forward to every day without the fear. One of the common questions I'll get is, you cannot change people in 45 minutes, of which I'll ask any audience this question. Have you ever had somebody say something to you that took 15 seconds and changed your life? What are you doing right now in your organization to build mutually amazing relationships? Our standards are so low that when we see amazing relationships, we're like, whoa, but here's what's astonishing. You've probably never seen that phrase before in your life. And it should be the standard of excellence. Who gets to choose your world? You do. I get to choose how I engage with other human beings, no matter what world I'm set into. Even if I'm in an unhealthy, toxic environment, I get to make choices in that environment. You don't have to know the answer for other people. You need to know the answer for those you work with. Every day we walk into this organization, we must intentionally take steps to further deepen that culture of respect in every interaction we have. Whether that's sending a text, whether that's sending an email, or whether that's one-on-one -on -one personal conversation. When people walk in, they think of topics like harassment, diversity, inclusion. They're like, well, that didn't suck. And you get all the way from that to the person going, oh my gosh, I didn't realize how much I needed to be in the room today. This changed the game for me. I had no clue things I was doing that was causing the harm they're doing. It's that across the board impact that's really powerful.
What happens to productivity? What happens to achieving goals, profits, teamwork? They're just an everyday occurrence because that's what happens when you create a culture of respect, you create a culture of excellence.